Okay, so I'm gonna stick one of these on here. This was a bit more challenging than I expected. Okay. Ah, yep, it's pulling stuff off. Yeah, these aren't working. Ah, and it's actually not a bad color. So I'm actually kind of liking it. It looks better on this side. Hi everyone, it is now day three of filming this video. <laughs> um, progress has been made. These are all very stuck on now. They just have lifted in a lot of spots, but now that this leaf ain't going anywhere, I can stick it down properly. I also went to Walmart and bought myself some of these. So this is what you want, this and the Mod Podge. Pretty sure it's Mod Podge, not Mod Podge, but whatever. Anyway, I got these. That will help for when I'm doing the total complete overcoat. In the meantime, I'm just gonna use my sticky glue for sticking down all of these little parts. And then I will have the sticky glue cover everything and then it will be done. And then I'll move on to my little planter that I started. So I'm gonna use the skinny one for getting in behind things. And I'm gonna just stick as much stuff down as I can. I think it'll be a lot easier now that this is really dry. So if you're an avid crafter, um, let me know. But would this have gone a lot easier for me if I had just used actual Mod Podge instead of this tacky glue? So what I'll do when I'm kind of done this, I'll leave it to dry for a little bit while I work on the other one, and then um, I'll come back and do any more sticking on that I need to, slash um, I'll just cover the whole thing. You know what? I'm gonna like slather this whole thing in this stuff and just do the saran wrap. I'm going to have this saran wrap attached to it for a while. I might take a couple days before I come back to this. And I think what I'm going to do is wrap this in something so that it's all held on because I can't just sit and hold it like this forever. And I'm also going to wrap this in the blanket that I have on the floor here. Now that is done and out of the way, I'm going to turn off the camera, clean this stuff up, and switch gears to the uh, fall planter that I started. Okay, I am working on the planter box now. I have taped where the letters are going to go. So I've kind of come up with the design I want on this tissue paper. I recommend doing that um, just so you have a plan before you get started because it's hard once you get started with the paint to fix anything. Um, that being said, I'm still kind of nervous. <laughs> the tape is the lines, like if you're writing on lined paper, it's the line that the um, words would be on. So obviously G is going to be a bit of an issue. So I'm going to do the rest of the letters and then I'm going to peel back where G will go and do that um, last. Oh yeah, I'm putting the word give thanks. Partly because I, I don't really like the F in here. I was going to do thankful and also thankful as a word was really long on this box. For this size of lettering. Anyway, I was thinking about doing white, but then I was thinking white's very high contrast, which is fine, but I think it'd be interesting if I mixed some white with the gold and had kind of a goldy white. So we'll see how that goes. My hope is that will be enough. I'm going to mix in 
my gold. Let's see how this looks. It's kind of nice. I think on a contrast with this brown, I think it'll look really good. This is the part I am rather nervous about. Ooh. Is anyone else nervous when they do this? I'm real nervous. Alright, moment of truth. Lift. Ta-da! It's okay. It kind of soaked through a little bit, so I think I'll do less on the brush next time. So now what I need to do is wait for this to dry because I don't want to set this down on it to, you know, make it smudge. I'm going to start working on the thanks. So, oh yeah, there's the letter I. So I'm going to start working on thanks from this side. better. So I would probably recommend um, practicing even just painting on something with this so you know how much paint you want to use um, and just get a technique that is best for you. I definitely recommend starting with not that much paint because it really seeps in. What's great about using tape also is you can make little lines on it. Um, to kind of tell you where you want things to be. So you can see the eye is a little blotchy, but otherwise it looks pretty good. So the technique that is working best for me is to gently dab the paintbrush. There was a little bit of paint on the bottom of this and I got it on here. Ah! I started getting careless. Not good. I'm gonna have to mix up some brown and try and fix this which is gonna be such a pain in the butt. Oh my goodness. But if I'm doing that, I might as well also work on fixing this eye. So I guess silver lining. I should have had give up a little higher. Oh, what just happened? It's like I randomly got really watery paint. I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna mix up some brown. Try and do something to fix some of these issues. I'm debating on removing this whole eye and doing it again. Actually, I'm kind of debating on removing give entirely and moving it up. But that's too much work, so no, I'm not going to do that. See, and the eye, I used way too much paint. You can kind of see it through the touch-up where I covered it up. The T is completely gone. Okay, so... I don't know when it stopped recording because I was really paying attention. Um, my camera only has a 30 minute recording time, which is annoying. Um, I fixed the T. I still have to do something about the eye. Um, my battery's dying, so I'm going to charge it overnight and come back to this tomorrow. Or I might do this off camera and then I'll show you tomorrow because I have the paint mixed up. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Flash in a couple seconds when this clip switches. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> it's the next day. I'm wearing a different outfit. <laughs> How many outfits is this now? I'm trying to stay in the same colors. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember if I mentioned this. I decided to get rid of the word give altogether and redo it because I didn't like how low down it was. 
So we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna do a line along the top. It's just the eye, it's gonna give me some issues, but that's fine. So far, these are the two most stressful crafts I've done. <laughs> but it's all good. This looks so much better already with the H not pretty much touching the V. <laughs> so much work, but it's so worth it when you do things properly. Cause I know if I had just left it, cause I almost did, I really wanted to. I would have just been staring at it forever and I probably would have just done it over anyway. There we go. Now I just need to put the eye and then I'm done with this stencil. <laughs> I'm never touching it again. No more stencil. Say goodbye to the stencil. Forever. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera for now, clean up all this paint, be done with the paint, no more paint, um, and then I'm gonna come back and we will open up the vase that I wrapped up last night or yesterday or whenever it was, and we'll see. Cross your fingers that it worked out really well because I'm ah, a little stressed out about it. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, <laughs> here we go. Wish me luck. I can tell it's still wet, but it looks like everything's still held down fairly well. So I basically need to just take this off and let it dry in the air. When I try and pull it off, it pulls leaves off. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering if it makes more sense to leave this on for a few days for it to dry. The only thing is I really want to get this video out but a few days might help it actually dry while this is holding it. Here's what I'm working with right now. As you can see, like right here, you can see a lot of the white from the glue. So it's definitely still wet. Maybe what I do is I open it along the top so that some air can get in. And yeah, I think I might wait on this a little bit longer, unfortunately. Um, it just seems like it's still very wet, um, still needs some help sticking on here properly. I really want this to turn out good so I don't want to rush it too much. In the future I will use real Mod Podge. It's Mod Podge, not Mod Podge. I've been saying Mod Podge this whole time, it just is easier to say Mod Podge instead of Mod Podge. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get something for this planter that I'm pointing at that you cannot see. <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna start just creating that and we can work on that instead because this needs to wait a bit longer. We're back with the planter craft. Um, I decided to do the rope. I'm just think I'm gonna put just along the top here. I might do one more. I did one already as you can see and I'm gonna do one more along the top here and then we'll see if I want to do more using glue gun. It is so nice using something that sticks automatically. <laughs> Planter is pretty much done. We got the rope there. Um, should I do a row on the bottom maybe? That would be cute. I'm gonna do that. Now it is time to start filling it. I'm gonna unplug the glue gun first because safety first. 
This is the part where you have the most creative license, do whatever you want, put whatever you want in it, um, play around with it, make changes. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. I can't remember what this stuff is called, <laughs> but um, it's the stuff that you stick fake flowers and stuff into. I got two little squares of this. Obviously, I've used it in the past for various things, but I'm just gonna stick in there. In a perfect world, if I had my, like, another fresh one, I would have one that fits this perfectly and just set it inside. Now I have these, this thing, <laughs> these. I do have these, I don't know if I'll use them because they don't really match, but they could add some good lightness. And then I have these. So I guess adding a few of these would be good. I just don't have anything to stick them with. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. I don't know how I'm gonna use these yet. I'll figure it out. The glue gun may come back. <laughs> anyway. Let's open this guy up. So first things first, I'm gonna just separate all of these from the longest part. Um, and then when I decide where things go, I can cut the length to whatever is the best. Um, these types of fake flowers, fake leaves, they have a wire inside, so using your own regular scissors might destroy them, um, will destroy them. So get proper wire cutters and you'll have a much easier time. Now, if you're sure this is gonna be a permanent arrangement, these things that you put inside, you could glue down so that they stay a lot easier. Um, I do these types of things a lot, so it's possible I might take this out, like I used this already. It's possible I might take it out for something else, so I'm not going to. You wanna make sure you have some that are low, that fill in, and then, but also create your height. I might use this one for some height. It's hard because I'm not actually seeing what it looks like from the front yet. There we go. I'm gonna get um, probably the glue gun back out and glue this on here. I'm thinking maybe off to the side side or in the corner. Off to the side is good. No, I don't like that. I'm going to cut a little bit off of this. I have a few of these little pieces that have come off. I'm gonna use them actually on this to see if I can get some of these lighter leaves in here. I'm gonna need to get my glue gun out again. Now, this isn't the greatest looking thing right in the middle there. Um, there's these little styrofoam brown balls that came from this and I'm gonna Put a dab of glue here and I'm gonna put this here just to make it look a little more finished, if that makes sense. I have to go yell at a cat. Ugh. And Cassidy's waking up. All right, I'm not gonna yell at the cat. I'm just gonna do this real quick. So this is the finished product. When this is sitting somewhere, I'm going to have these kind of around because they're too big to just like plop in here. So once I have this done and the other one done, I'll show you like the setup together. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. 
Okay guys, we are finally in the home stretch. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel here. <laughs> um, yesterday I took all of the saran wrap and everything off and I did it very carefully. There were still a lot of things sticking up. I decided I'm over it. <laughs> this tacky glue did not work as expected. I really should have used actual Mod Podge. Um, I decided to start cheating and I used a glue gun. So I put a glue gun in just inside and like pushed things down and they stuck and it was really nice. <laughs> um, one thing I noticed I don't like that this opening is so big you can see the back of the leaves in here very well which is fine but like I don't know I just don't like that you can see inside especially because I'm planning on putting string lights just inside. And I think that'll be really cute, but I don't want to see all these wires so easily walking by. I also don't like how it turned out along the top here. You can kind of see if it focuses, that you can see a bit of the glue. It dried clear, but it just, it didn't dry as nice as I would have liked. So I came up with a solution. I'm going to have leaves along here and they'll be all along the edge with orange being the more prominent one but i'm gonna do that all along and that way it'll kind of hide the wires inside it'll finish the top really nicely and i think it'll just make this look a lot better so this is something you can do too if you're finding that you don't like the way that the top is looking or you don't want to see on the inside as much and you can stick with your tacky glue or your Mod Podge if you want, um, or you can do what I'm doing and saying, screw it, I'm using a glue gun today. Um, when you're using a glue gun with something this thin, you want to use something, and I've been using this, to press down. Because if I put glue along here and put this here, and I put my fingers here, it's gonna hurt. So. I will be using this to hold things down and push against the glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put line along the edge and then just stick it on. And then afterwards I'll go around and stick down all the bottoms of the leaf. So let's do this. God, it's finally done. Ah. Just pull it off a couple little strings. That's the one issue with hot glue that I can't stand is all the string. All right, glue gun is unglued, or <laughs> glue gun is unplugged. This is gonna go in here now. So first I'm gonna stick the battery pack and that into the bottom and then this stuff just let it sort of do its thing just shove it all in there and then that way when you want to turn it on you just stick your hand in and then do that so now like from the side you can't see in and see all the wires but it is creating a cute little bit of light I'm gonna take a video or a picture of it tonight when it's dark sitting where I'm gonna have it decorated with my give thanks box and I'm gonna grab that right now. So, ta-da, I'm done, I'm excited. They actually look really nice and if you make any yourself, I would love to hear about it in the comments. I bet you will have an easier time than me <laughs> and I'd love to see pictures. I know you can't post pictures in the comments but um, on Facebook you can. So if you like my Facebook page, you can share pictures there which would be awesome. 
and on that note i wish you guys a very happy thanksgiving whether you're celebrating it this month or next and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>